Aromatic Fragrances International. What I wanted to go over was actually how we pack uh, off your finished product. So we start off with 10 pounds and this pail can hold uh, roughly about 15 pounds on some batches. And this is just our typical plastic 10 pound pail. So if you're ordering 10 pounds off the website, this is what it's gonna come in. The next most common thing is our 25 pound plastic and this can hold up to 40 pounds but we mainly ship out 25 pounds and this is our most common pail. So if you're ordering off the websites or if you're not specific on your packaging, you're gonna end up getting a red 10 pound plastic or a plastic 25 pounder. Those are the two most common pails. We do offer metal 25 pounders. Some people just prefer these. Uh, it could be just the application of what they're using. But no problem, whenever you place the order, say I have 25 pounds, I'd like it packed off in metal. In that case, this is what it looks like, steel can. Um, it's got lining inside of it, just to make sure there's iron contaminant because it's an iron pail. But common, a lot of people use them, no big deal. The next size up is a 50 pound container. And a lot of people don't like these because it is 50 pounds and that's hard for them to try to pour or process out of. We do offer them, so if you order 50 pounds, we normally pack it off two by 25. If you prefer a 50 pound container, it is offered. That's basically the setup for our pails. Now, the next step is when you go into the drum quantities. So this is a 100 pound drum, and it's got a two inch bung on one side, a three quarter inch bung in the other. Um, you are gonna use some sort of bung wrench to take this off. You can use pliers um, by actually inserting it into the grooves on both sides. You actually come in with the claw this way and then you can spin it off or you're gonna need to purchase a bung wrench. Um, people who are manufacturing and have warehouses and using forklifts, they have bung wrenches, but I know a lot of you smaller guys, whenever you start getting bigger, you are gonna get 100 pounders. When you get the 100 pounders, <coughs> you can use a typical uh, wrench, uh, but you're just going to have to use it sideways and actually go in it with the teeth. Uh, the other thing is it has a three quarter inch bung. You can buy spouts so you can actually pour it out. A lot of people will mount these in their racks just like I am behind me with the cradles. They'll have a spout coming out of this side and then you just vent it for air. So a lot of people like these 100 pounders especially as they're graduating up before they go out into big commercial buildings. 100 pounds is heavy but it's still manageable. Next one we go into is a 200 pounder. This 200 pound drum um, can actually go up to 225, 250, depending if it's a really heavy oil, thick, a gold Egyptian musk, something like that, could actually fit 250 in here. Um, same thing, it's got two bungs on both sides. And the next step from here is a 55 gallon drum. This is typical 400 pound quantity. Sometimes you can get up to 500 pounds in these things, but normally 400 pounds comes up to about here, and that's what most people order in. This is standard for a commercial building. You can see them all behind me. Uh, you're constantly going through a couple weeks worth of inventory. Drums are great. Next step up from the drum is we have steel 55 gallons. Same thing, it's a preference thing. Plastics are the ones that we ship the most. They take a little bit more abuse. If the truck drivers bang them around or they get knocked off a skid or they roll around in a truck, these usually won't rupture. Metal drums, if they get a nail on the pallets, uh, if a guy comes in with a forklift and hits it, the plastic one might actually give a little bit, the steel will not. So when he hits it, it opens it up like a can opener. Uh, this is why we don't use these all the time, but they are offered for certain applications. The next step up is if you're buying two or four drums at a time, you're getting closer to 1,600 pounds, 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds, we give a price break on the price. So we do have a lot of people that go into that 2,000 pound quantity, and that's these cube totes. These things hold 275 gallons, so you can get roughly 2,400 pounds, depending on the product in one of these things. We do use them. Uh, they have an actual valve on the front of it that you can actually discharge it. A lot of people will transfer from the totes into drums. Uh, we have to do that on some of the products that come into our facility. Or they'll just open that up directly to their assembly line. So they might be dumping that in a big tank and they just transfer it over. Again, we don't really have a preference. If you want to order four drums or you want to order a totes, or if you want to order five or six drums or you want to order a totes, 
that's just a pack off to us. It's already included in the price. It basically comes down to roughly the same amount per poundage. Um, any questions, definitely ask customer service. Um, Aromatic Fragrance International, this is our pack off.